Hello my cute subscribers and people on the internet. Today I will show you some CSS tricks that every front-end developer should know. Okay, I will start with something really cool. So I will just give it like some lorem 5 in a h1 tag. You see it's here. And then I'm coming in my CSS, I'm grabbing my h1 and I will give it a font size of 4 rem. Okay. And as a background, we will go with linear gradient. I wanted to start from left, so I will say to left RGB. And I will just randomly write some color here. I don't know what will come out. So again, another RGB value here. Something, something, and something. Okay, let's see how it look. Okay, you can't see it so far. You can see it right now, but you will see it really soon. Or maybe the, maybe I, I did something wrong, who knows? Let me check. RGB to 3 value to 3 value, but okay, let's, let's just... Because it should come. Okay, 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 now, now, is there... Yeah, there is, there is something on the background, you see? Uh, okay, so let's make it more... Zero, oh no, you don't need zero here, one, two, one. Okay, now it looks a bit cuter. But what if you want to take this background color and you want to use it in your text? Sounds crazy, right? So I will just make it a one word so that we can see it better. So now I will take this background and I will implement it in this lorem text. So how to do that? You come to your h1 tag, you call the webkit background, background clip and uh, you, you, you choose your text here again from your webkit text and fill color you will use transparent. So let's see how it looks now. Amazing. I will show you something from inspect as you can see it's covering all the blocks because this is a block element so how can you fix it because you can just write your brand name here and you can create your you know menu right here but in this case whatever you write under your lorem let's give some span with lorem 3 you will see it's right below here okay so for fix that you come to your h1 tag again and display inline. This is too big now. If we just make it like three, 2 rem. Okay, you see, now you can write next to your cute lorem text. Okay, let's move to next one. So the next one is a selection. I give some lorem 100 p tag here. When you go to your website and when you choose it, there's a blue background with a white text color. Can you change it? Yes, you can. So you just come to your CSS, go to your selection and give some background color. Let's make it also purplish. And I want text color to be beige. Okay, so let's see how it looks now see amazing okay so the next one will be about links okay i'm creating two links here let's give some empty things here so that it won't go anywhere and i'm writing here click me please another one like this okay so as default What is wrong? Why it's coming red? It's weird. Let's make it five and three. Okay, okay. Probably I used the three and two before. So when you click on it, it goes to the some you know default color, and as a default, they're blue. So can you change it? Yes, you can. So the First, you grab your link, okay? I will give some font size to it. Let's make it a bit 
20 pixel okay now they're looking more ugly so the link pseudo class which is this it controls all link that haven't been clicked on yet and there is also another one which is visited and this pseudo class handles the styling of visited text okay so before you click on it if you want it to be in red color you write it in the link and after you click on it if you want it to be blue you write it here so let's see how they look now i will just change this too so now they are red because we didn't click on them yet and after i click they will change to blue okay so the next one it's a hover effect i will give some lorem 10 here okay and i will give it i will actually put it in a div because we need to put it in div in this case okay and i will give a class name to this div so let's make it hover effect okay so i want to add a hover effect to this you can use this hover effects on your menus on your image in your website or even a text right now what i'm gonna do so okay let's go so the hover f first i reached my class with using that because this is a class if it was id you would use hashtag for reach it okay i reach my class and in this class i want to reach the p tag so i'm writing p let's give it some font size first 15 pixel good enough i will make it in purplish and let's give some font weight as 10 okay so this is how it looks now so i want to change this color when i hover on this text so again i'm reaching my hover f class to p tag and i'm writing it hover pseudo class so we want it to change from blue to aqua okay there's a sudden change now you can change this because it looks too weird or like that so how to change it so you need to choose you need to use transition here and uh, let's add it here transition for all elements i will write 0 0.8 second and i will choose ease so that it will have a bit soft effect on it see now it's slowly changing slowly you're not in rush so the next one i want to show is scroll effect smooth scroll effect okay i'm writing okay easy way to create some div if you just write that and give us some class name name and hit on enter you will have a div with a class name name okay so first i want to give this name i'm reaching the name tag and let's 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 make it height of 100 vh and width of 80 percent so we have a bit scroll here we need it we need more 200 okay so below this div i will write some p tags two p tags with a class name i will write one id1 class id2 and here's some lorem 10 and another one lorem 1 doesn't really matter yeah they are here so in this div tags i'm creating a tags because i want to click on some links and i want to reach this text over here so that you can see the scroll effect okay yeah uh, okay so in the a tag let's give it sorry this this should be id 
this should be id this should be id because we will reach the them so href id1 and id2 so please click me sir for go to id1 and click for id2 okay let's see how it works now if i go to id1 i click and suddenly i'm here i'm clicking and sudden cannot get id2 what Click for ID2. Why you can't get the ID2? Lauren is here. Ah, okay, we forgot this one. Okay, refresh it, refresh it, refresh it. Okay, you're not gonna refresh. Open with live server. Okay. So, click for ID2. It's here. So, I wanna add a little smooth scroll effect here. So for this, you just come to your CSS, just one line, HTML, scroll behavior to smooth. Okay, so let's see how it works now. Oh my God, nice you ruined it because we, we deleted this height and width. Okay, here you should write HTML and scroll behavior smooth. So I'm clicking, you see, we have a smooth scroll effect now. Okay, what can be the next? Let's go with fitting the image in a certain size, okay? So I'm calling three image here, but they should be in some div. So let's create a div, and inside the div I'm creating some image tag, and I need three of them. So the first one will be class image 100, second one class image 200, third one with a class name of image 300. And in the image tags I'm giving them some sources, let's use this, source, the second image, source and the third image here. Okay, our donuts from our previous project. So let's make this image, let's just resize them. I want image 100 to be, to have height 100 pixel and width of 100 pixel. Okay, and for image 200, I want the height 200 pixel and width 200 pixel. Same thing almost for image 300 with a height of 300 pixel and width of 300 pixel. Okay, you can't even see all of them because they are overlapping right now. So how to get rid of this thing. So you need to just use one comment which is max width and you need to apply it in images, okay, this image tags. So I'm just coming down here, calling all the images, reaching out all the images, and I'm writing max width, max width should be 100%. So with this, the first image will have 100 pixel height and 100 pixel width, when the second image is having 200 pixel of height and 200 pixel of width. Okay, and uh, the height will be auto here, so all these images will, pit, will, will fit in this certain size. So this is the 100 to 100, 200 to 200, 300 to 300. Okay, what else we have? So uh, let's, let's just show the last trick, which can be sometimes useful. I will call h2 tag, h3 tag, and h4 tag here. They will all have lorem 10, lorem 10, same for here, and same for here, okay? 
So now I will show you the capitalized lowercase and uppercase method. So you just reach your h2 tag and you use your text transform to capitalize. That's it. H3 text transfer text tra text transform lowercase and h4 this looks really useless right now but it can do some cool things when you're creating a website okay so this one is uppercase this one is lowercase and this is capitalized you see every every word start with a capital letter so i don't know how many i show maybe five six i don't know but if you liked it i will do it more okay till then see you later